I went to Hong Kong on November 12 to 15, 2019. I took Cathay Pacific, amused the bare-bone seats of Philippine Airlines, so I was quite pleased with the various customized seat features of Cathay Pacific, even on economy class. There's a USB charging port, a little fold-out cup holder, and then the actual food tray. It's cool because you can keep your drink secure without the entire tray blocking your lap. And then there's even a little cell phone pouch sewn in front of the magazine holder. I got this data SIM card in advance from the Philippines before leaving, so I don't have to hunt for one in the airport anymore. I bought it from Lazada, currently the largest Southeast Asian online retailer. The entertainment system is also pretty neat, lots of fresh movies and music. The earphone jack is the standard one, not this weird two-pronged one, so you can plug in your own headphones. This is the lunch they gave. My friends and I took a car we hired from Kluk to get to the city from the airport. With discounts and being four people in all lugging suitcases, it was the same price and more convenient than taking a train, especially since the car took us directly to our hotel doorstep. I checked into the mini hotel Causeway Bay a little after 3 p.m. As the name mini hotel implies, the 10 square meter room is very tiny. The common area is very cool though, you sit around and hang and work there instead of being holed up in your little room. saw these big furry dogs on Causeway Bay later that afternoon. They were doing their job to grab the attention of passersby to donate to the HKAAC. Stopped for noodles at a small local diner in Causeway Bay, then walked around a bit. Afterwards, took an Uber to Victoria Peak. Back in Causeway Bay, there was a long line of commuters due to limited buses plying the roads because of protests. Walked around Causeway Bay a bit to take photos, then turned in for the night. Very rare to see this area empty so early. Went to Wan Chai to check out the Cosmo Prof trade show at the Hong Kong Convention Center with my friends. It's a huge trade show focusing on beauty products. Didn't stay there long, I only went to see what it was about. After I left my friends, I walked from Wan Chai all the way back to the mini hotel in Causeway Bay while taking photos. <laughs> I met up with my other friend, had a late lunch, and then we took the metro to Kowloon Island.
I walked around Tim Sha Tui and the area near the harbor didn't go anywhere else in Kowloon anymore because the Mongkok station was closed anyway due to the protests. Had an encounter with some pigeons near the harbor. random Hong Kong supermarket products. Back in Causeway Bay, we met up with our other friends and had a grand hot pot dinner at the Drunken Pot. Walked around after dinner. I've never seen Causeway Bay this empty at only 10 p.m. Here's some random Hong Kong supermarket products. Here's a little room tour. I had breakfast at the lobby common area because my room was too cramped and I didn't want to get granola bar shavings in the bed. After breakfast, I walked around Causeway Bay and took photos. Then I had fried rice for lunch, shared this huge takeout box with my friend. After lunch, we headed to IFC in Central. I walked around and took photos, and then I headed to Wan Chai to meet with my friends who are at the convention center for the Cosmoprof Beauty trade show.
Uber to North Point for dinner. The food was pretty good. I ate a lot, so after dinner, I walked around the area near my hotel for an hour before turning in. On the morning of my last day, I walked around Causeway Bay again before checking out. Just before I got into my taxi, I had an encounter with a cute dog and its nanny. The taxi took me a couple of streets away from IFC, where the airport express's Hong Kong station is. The taxi couldn't get through due to the bricks and the people barricading the road, so I crossed on foot. It was alright. After doing the in-town check-in, I headed out to take a few quick photos of what's happening. And then I took the airport express train that took me directly to the airport. Upon arrival at the airport, I went straight to customs and then the boarding gate since I was able to do in-town check-in already at the IFC. The layout of the pouches and folding table in the flight going home is a bit different from the flight going to Hong Kong because it's a different plane model. There's still a USB charger though and a little phone pouch and a mini folding cup holder. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Which photo did you like best? Please comment below. Please thumb up this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to be updated when I upload again. See you next video.